This YCN segment is brought to you by LaValle Building Supply and Middleton Building Supply. Last season, the Fairhaven Slaters won Vermont's Division II State Football Championship over Bellows Falls. This year on the same field at Rutland High School, the Slaters hope to repeat. But standing in their way were the top-ranked Bulldogs from Burr and Burden. Over the last two seasons, the Bulldogs have lost in the semis and in the finals. But in 2018, they hope to go all the way by dethroning the defending champion Slaters. To start things off, Fairhaven received the opening kickoff. Burr and Burton's defense, though, quickly forced a three and out. The Bulldogs took over and used multiple runs from their quarterback, Joey McCoy, and running back, Logan Morgan. Soon, McCoy helped his team move down the field with a deep completion to receiver Jake Nicholson near the right sideline. Bulldogs running back Jake Baker then finished the drive with a two-yard rushing touchdown. During the Slater's next drive, Fairhaven star senior quarterback Cam Kaludi was held in check by Burr and Burton's defense for the most part. He did eventually complete a deep pass to receiver Aubrey Ramey. But Bulldogs defensive back Logan Morgan made a huge play knocking the ball loose and causing a fumble, which his teammate Jake Nicholson recovered. And Burton with solid field position again marched down the field with runs from Jake Baker and McCoy. And soon McCoy found John Morgantini over the middle for 31 yards, which put the Bulldogs on the three yard line. Baker was again given the handoff, and he ran it in to put his team up 14 0 with a successful extra point. Fairhaven's next possession began on their own 20 yard line. They did manage to pick up a few first downs, but the Bulldogs defense came up big for a third straight time, this time forcing a turnover on downs. BBA's next drive was the first time of the day the Bulldogs had trouble moving the ball. Fairhaven's D forced a fast three and out, so the Bulldogs were forced to punt. After a high snap, McCoy recovered and masterfully punted the ball all the way to the Slater's 20. Fairhaven's fourth drive of the afternoon was again stopped in its tracks after three straight incompletions from Kaludi. One ball was almost picked off by Burr and Burton's Morgan Teeny. So after a punt, the Bulldogs took over on their opponent's 40 to end the first quarter up 14-0. BBA wasted little time and continued to use McCoy's arm. This time, he found Morgantini for a 20-yard pickup. Now first and 10 on the 16, McCoy ran in a touchdown after making a cut, using a spin move and breaking a tackle. The Bulldogs went up by 21. Fairhaven's offense was then pinned on its own 15-yard line after Morgan Teeny's kickoff. Another three and out was forced by Burr and Burton's defense. Kaludi's receivers were always well covered, which led to a sack by multiple Bulldog pass rushers. After another punt, it took BBA just two plays to score again, and they were both rushes from quarterback Joey McCoy with the big one on a 23-yard touchdown run. On the following kickoff, Morgantini continued his stellar special teams after noon with a deep boot which forced the Slaters to start their sixth drive on their own five-yard line. Fairhaven quickly faced third down, which they managed to convert. This time on a throw in catch from Kaludi to Brett Huntley. The Slaters then caught a break when a 20 yard throw again to Huntley was called a reception, despite the ball appearing to hit the ground. This didn't seem to make a difference though, as the Bulldogs defense once again stepped up and forced a punt with strong coverage in the secondary and relentless pass rushing on Kaludi. The 
Bulldogs then took over midfield and immediately used a 30-yard run from McCoy to set them up in the red zone. Joey soon plunged in from the one-yard line for his third touchdown of the half. After another turnover and stop from the Bulldogs' defense, throws from McCoy to Baker helped set up a touchdown pass to Morgan Tini just before the second quarter came to a close. At halftime, the Bulldogs led a commanding 43-0. If the Slaters wanted any chance of making a comeback, they'd have to stop Burr and Burton to open the third quarter. 